Hey my bowl of cereal, today we're collectively getting angry at society for ridiculing female gamers. No healing. Yeah, I mean, I was walking back. You're a woman, don't talk. Oh, yeah, okay, alright. Can I, can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. But if you, if you try to push like kitchen, can you make me a sandwich, please? I know this might come as a shocker to some of you, but um... I have a dick. <laughs> and guess what? I am an exceptionally mediocre gamer, even though I've actually graduated as a game developer and even worked as one for a while. Sure, I stream my successful road to the legend rank in Hearthstone to a total of zero viewers, and yeah, I also psychologically tortured myself into achieving the Platinum 4 rank in League of Legends, where I'm currently hard stuck in. But that's it, baby! Even though it took so much effort, that is my peak in gaming. And I accepted that, after many emotional crying sessions in the shower. So there are tons of women that are obviously better at gaming than I or many other guys are. But for some unknown reason, gaming is still being gatekept from women in multiple ways by both dumbass billion dollar companies and cave dwelling guys. Albeit by sexualizing female teammates in voice chat. You are the food for the kitchen, okay? <laughs> now the kitchen is in your stupid ass. Okay, can you um, open your eyes and play the game, please? Yes, I close my eyes and then play the game. Not or ridiculing their skill for no reason. You're yeah. a girl, you're supposed to be a healer? Can someone delete yeah. that message? That's actually you're disrespectful. Uh, even though most brain-rotten zombies that I came across in League of Legends were obviously male. I remember not long ago watching MLE, a female player from the Moist Moguls <laughs> Valorant Pro Team, win a 1v4 and it was one of the most exciting moments I experienced watching esports. I was on the edge of my seat, baby, being excited for Moist Moguls to win and ecstatic that esports is finally getting less and less gatekept from women. And I guess that YouTube held a personal grudge against me because they just couldn't wait to ruin all of that excitement by recommending me a clip from my most hated streamer, I Show Speed, where he trash talks a Valorant player for the sole reason of being a girl. Can't stand playing with shitty females like you. Leave the fucking match. Leave the match. Leave the match. Leave. I can't fucking stand shitty fucking females like you that think they fucking good at games. Take, take your ass to goddamn fucking Sims Club or some shit. Get the fuck off Valorant. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yo, I heard there's a woman in this game. That shit needs to stop. Exactly, right now. exactly. Now, whenever I see I show speed, I get naturally pissed off. Maybe it's because of him getting away with trying to scam his infantile following, even though he was already rich at the time. Oh, or his weird ass rape threats against a female ghost streamer. Say if we the last two people on earth and we had to reproduce to make the world continue, would you uh, reproduce with me? No, because that means our kids will have to intertwine and then their kids, no. Who gonna stop me? I will. Who's gonna stop me? I will. If we're the last two people on earth, who gonna stop me? Oh, and how could I forget his blatant racism against Asian people? Why you got an Argentina, bro? Uh, Konichiwa? Konichiwa? No, no, Chinese. Chinese. Konichiwa, Argentina. Chinese. No, Konichiwa. Why you trying to fight? And with this clip, it gave me a fucking conniption. Can't stand playing with shitty females like you. And of course there was huge backlash and he inevitably apologized, but uh, in true narcissistic I show speed fashion, he did the exact same thing a few months later. What? What? Bitch? Bitch? Is a bitch talking to me? Is a female talking to me? Am I, no, 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 am I tripping? Am I tripping? Oh, oh, wait, time out. Is a female talking to me right now? Is a fucking female talking to me? Get off the fucking game and do your husband dishes, bitch. which resulted in his permanent ban from Valorant, sadly not from Twitch, where his cult following of prenatal fetuses hang on his every word, 
and copy his shitty behavior. He said, go do your husband dishes. <laughs> I'm dead. Leave it to an iShow speed fan to laugh at the least original jokes that stopped being funny 20 years ago. Speed did nothing wrong. I, I were him, I would do the same. People have to understand Speed's way of entertainment and content creation. His fan base are into these kinds of stuff. Some find it funny, but not most. He can't change what bring him what he is today. Saying a person shouldn't be held accountable for his actions because they led to his fame is one of the Dumbest arguments I've ever heard. What, should we free that Bundy because murdering people was just his way of attracting a fan base? Hey, he's gotta keep his fame somehow. He crazy. And he dress vest is banned. Thank you, Juval Haddad. I agree. Man, I would pay money to see iShow Speed's ass get kicked in Valorant by Moist Mogul's MLE. But of course, as long as competitive gaming exists, there'll always be some heinous people who can't wait to openly share the reasons why nobody likes them with the rest of the world. Always be your You're sugar dead. daddy. Yo, guy, can you can you I'm leave talking her alone, bro? Fucking, you're harassing her, bro. Talking to my kid play the game, bro. She just wants to play the game like you. Game it, girl. Congrats on your first two kills. I'm so proud of you. Oh, Alice, what's your Discord? You can be my little kitten. You sound like a streamer that's famous just because she looks good, not because she's good at games. Yeah, we're in the same game now. Now, what does that say about you? Are you trans? How fucking old are you? Old enough to have sex with your mom. If you're a trash talker watching my videos, just. Don't make it racially or sexually motivated. At least female gamers can peacefully enjoy single player games, right? Wrong. I couldn't finish Dark Souls 3, so I'll be damned if a female gamer finishes that game before I do. They have? Shit! To my credit though, <laughs> I play every single player game on the hardest possible difficulty. <laughs> I even vanquished every single boss in Elden Ring. But even there I get heavily outclassed by the opposite sex. This woman killed an Elden Ring boss I died at least 10 times at with her freaking mind. No foot pad, no dance pad or anything. Focusing in. <laughs> and again. She was using an EEG and that's amazing. I can't even solve basic arithmetics with my stinky brain. Now guess what the top comments to this clip are. I mean, they must be congratulating her for this insane achievement. That's cap. Biggest cap I ever did see. Lies. Boyfriend off screen. Yeah. I call scam. There's no way she figured this out on her own. Yeah, see, as a dinky woman, she needed a guy to explain to her how to, um, formulate thoughts. Because that's basically how you send signals through an EEG. But we all know that women can't use technology. <laughs> or their brains. It's not like the first ever computer programmer was a woman. Right, guys? She was? Man... I thought I was the first computer programmer. An EEG device costs around 1000 US dollars. <laughs> I'd say it's very unlikely to own one if you're not a doctor that specializes in neurology. And if you work in that field, it is unlikely you waste expensive equipment on games. Do I really have to explain why this is one of the dumbest statements you could make? In a world where people spend Thousands of dollars on shoes. Is it so unbelievable that someone would spend $1,000 on an innovative piece of technology? No one falsely accused the guy who finished every single Souls game back to back without taking any damage, which by the way is extraordinary uh, for using hacks. Because it was an amazing achievement and he should be applauded for it. But why is everyone asking questions when the person behind the screen happens to have boobs? Now where there's injustice, there are soulless predatory billion dollar companies trying to tell us low-life peasants 
how to live our lives by creating the worst possible advertisement one could come up with. Which brings me to the actual reason I thought of making this video. See Dove, the beauty company that's um, synonymous with gaming and not with generic shampoo products or even child labor, had a few words to say about the unrealistically unhealthy female beauty standard that they created in the first place. See they released one of the most tone deaf and insulting advertisements toward female gamers that made even Darman's videos on the topic seem like Oscar worthy material. Because I want to be a girl gamer. It's just gamer. What do you mean? You don't call guys boy gamers, right? So no need to say girl gamers. It's just gamer. Dove takes his stand against overly sexualized women in video games, eliminating stereotypes and to build young players' self-esteem and body confidence. Let that sink in for a while. This advertisement is completely insulting towards every possible female demographic. You're a woman with naturally big breasts and a slim body type? How dare you! Shame on you! As a female gamer, we expect you to lay back in your chair, wear stinky socks and dirty clothing. See, on one hand, they're claiming they want to take a stand against overly sexualized women and remove stereotypes in video games. Uh, but then on the other hand, the fully armored, no skin showing brute warrior is seen as more sexual to them than the shorts and tank top wearing gamer because she's less skinny? Why is that, Dove? It kinda seems like a stereotype to me. I feel like all they're doing in this video is reinforcing their unrealistic self-created beauty standards. And the best of all is that they cared so much for their empowering and positive message that from the moment they started receiving negative backlash, they removed their tag from the viral tweet. I just... I can't imagine how much time, effort and planning went into this campaign and at no point did someone have an alarm go off in their stupid head. Uh, maybe we're doing the exact opposite of the message we're trying to send. You don't break female gamer stereotypes by reenacting them. You break them by making content where women gaming is seen as normal and mundane as it should be. Uh, but how can I blame them when they're just a dumbass shampoo brand and are completely out of touch with humans? once they leave their showers. So oh, maybe that's why they're so out of touch with the gaming community. Because they never shower. <laughs> but do not fret, I'll help you out, Dove. See, what you should have done is have an average woman step out of the shower, then have a friend call and ask her if she'd like to go out to a party, with her responding like, No, Tara, I do not want to get shit-faced, wake up in a random bed without my wallet, and have a newly set drunken tattoo of a cereal bowl on my butt. I'd rather stay home and fuck up some kids in Fortnite instead. Yes, Dove, you can hire me as your next ad campaign writer. Uh, you can contact me on Instagram, uh, Gypsy Serial, uh, which now that I mention it, uh, Instagram is this new app I made myself, uh, but I'm currently its only user, uh, so please go follow me, uh, because it's lonely over there. It's 2023, can we please stop linking someone's gender or sex with their hobbies and interests? If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, let me know in the comments and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel to become part of my cereal bowl so I can absorb all of your fibers and nutrients. I'm really busy with college deadlines and finals and it's been really stressful. But after those are done, I'll finally be able to focus entirely on YouTube, finish that channel banner, 
uh, AMA video, and I've got a few other surprises up my sleeve. And before you ask, yes, some of them are Nicolas Cage themed.